I don't look like what I've been through, right? <laughs> but I've been through so much, y'all. Like, y'all, like, let me sit y'all down because I'm really just filming off my phone right now. Um, because my camera battery is dead and I didn't charge it. So, um, today is my aunt's birthday. The one I told you guys that has stage well, it was stage four, now it's stage five. So basically, the cancer is spreading. And I've been literally thrilled to take care of my aunt, which remind you, I went to school for physical therapy. So I can basically um, help her as far as picking her up and stuff like that and just maneuver her around and stuff like that. And... It just makes me emotional, you guys, because I feel like I'm alone. Like, I feel like I'm alone while taking care of her. My aunt doesn't want to, my aunt that stays like five, ten minutes away doesn't want to help me. My mom, I don't even want to put that burden on my mom because my mom is older as well. And she's able, and she'll tell you guys, like, so I'm able, don't don't make me sit here and think that I'm not able. I'm able to help my sister. But at the end of the day, like, my mom doesn't know. She takes my son to school in the morning. She picks my son up in the evening. She has things throughout the day she does. And in the afternoon, she wants her time. You know what I mean? So with my aunt, she she is like my my aunt slash mother. She, she was always there. She's always done things for her me and this is the way I can repay her back like I said I've been I'm my my journey in faith has really grown so much um and um anytime that I get upset or my mom she always remind me that you know um God is in control of every situation that we go through not just only me just you too Whatever you're facing, whatever you're going through, you may have the same issues I'm having with feeling left alone um, in this tribe time. And my aunt, she is, like I say, stage five. And I've been reading up on it. I have no clue. All I know is like when my uncle, he was, he had cancer and he was in stage four and he would just cuss. Like he would just like cuss, you know, he would just cuss and he would be okay. He wouldn't be screaming. He wouldn't be hollering. He would cuss. But her, she's very irritated. She's very, I guess my auntie, I love her, but she's very annoying. And she called me like every day, 10 times, every day. Today, she called me 11 times. And I just really needed a break. I really needed a break, you guys. Like, it's only me. Like, you know, what am I, what am I supposed to do? And if, if I do something wrong, she has cancer, and I, I actually give her a, a pill, and she's not supposed to have it. She has chemo. What am I supposed to? Do? You know, what am I supposed to do? Like at this point, like I feel like my I've done enough. Like I've done enough to help my aunt, and I feel like it's time for her to make a decision to get hospice. Now, I will be there when hospice because I've heard so many cruel things about hospice. I've heard so many bad things about um, the nurses coming to the house that don't care. Like, I'm trying to make my aunt as comfortable as possible. But at the end of the day, like, am I really doing enough, you know? And she, she's so irritated. She cusses me out. She, you know, she screams. She spits. Um, and it's crazy. And then now, like, she called me this morning. She's just like, hey, excuse my French, because I said I was going to start doing this. But I said I was going to stop cussing and just start being more classier, you know, um, as a woman. Because nobody wants to hear a woman just always cussing. But y'all got, you got, you guys need to hear this. But she was like... I have shit it on myself, and you need to come over here, and you need to clean me up, and I'm just like, yesterday, you cleaned your whole self by yourself, so what's the problem today, you know, um, I'm just gonna tell you like this, I love my aunt, I love my family, and I'm supposed to be a servant, 
you know, just like we're supposed to be servants for God, you know, and God, he, he blesses us in return because we are servants, you know, and I'm not necessarily looking for a blessing. I'm just being a servant to my family um, because who knows one day I may need somebody, you know. But anyways, um, okay, I'm back, you guys. I have to, uh, yeah, but like I said, I was saying before, I, I know that I am supposed to be a servant to my family, no matter what, no matter what obstacles we face, no matter what we all go through, no matter how we have to get to them, like, you have to be a servant for your family, and I don't want to go over here. It, literally, I, I feel like I throw up because just thinking about cleaning up somebody's poop, it just makes me some, you know, uh, you know. So, <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Um, my mom was telling me, she said, make sure you have gloves on and masks, but she cussed me to the fullest when I went over the other day and she was like, I don't have her disease. You think I got something? You can get out. And I was just like, wow. She told me to get out, but I never got out. I told her, you can't tell me what to do. And she was just like, mm. And I was like, mm, bet. And she started laughing. And I'm so happy that I had, I could make her laugh. Because who knows when she have laughed. The last time she laughed and her boyfriend, so-called boyfriend, I think he's just a roommate. Well, he's been having strokes, like, strokes after strokes and he went to VA because he's military so he went to VA and VA I guess VA didn't catch all the symptoms and what was going on with him and then he went to Baylor Baylor um Baylor Scott and White and they pretty much figure out what was going on with him and why he was having strokes back to back back to back okay so um she's just in a state of mind because he does everything for her pay the rent pay the bills go grocery shopping and i was always telling her like you know ain't auntie like you know we call her ain't, ba ain't baby sister so because we country like that we call her ain't baby sister so i was like ain't baby sister like you know all this stuff that he's doing do you ever think and wonder like he's tired like this whole man we don't like him in his fam in our family like we really don't but i just had like since I just, you know, been getting into the Bible and getting into my faith, I just been kind of letting go of certain things. <laughs> I'm not at all, you know, fully knowing the Bible, not at all like fully, you know, fully saint here. But as far as I'm learning, like I've let go of a lot of negativity. And so um, I just told her, like, do you do you not realize this man is tired? Like, he literally goes upstairs. She was like, you know, one day he fell out the bed and couldn't get back up. He crawled down the stairs and called for help, you know. And my aunt's over there by herself right now. So all she has is me because nobody's going to, you know, my mom, like I said, she could come. But I'm sitting right here when I'm off of work. I can go and help her. But I didn't sign up to change shit. Like, I didn't, I didn't sign up. And I know that sounds... Like, I don't know what, what y'all would think about it. And, I, like, what I think about it is that I just did not sign up. And I'm just, like, this is not something I want to do. But at the end of the day, like, she's my aunt. And, like, like I said, you got to be a servant no matter what. No matter what obstacle, let's get it right, obstacles you face, you still got to push through it and do it. So, I'm just hoping when I do go over here, it's not horrible. It's not bad. It's just something little we can just wipe up or something. But if it's bad, I am totally going to throw the hell up. Like, excuse me, I'm going to throw up. So anyways, you guys, I had to vent because i just been going through a lot. I haven't been filming because I've been helping my aunt. She's just like a couple of steps away from where I stay at. This is the reason why I honestly moved here. Um, because my mom, she honestly wanted me to be close to my aunt. She used to be a very bad alcoholic, a very, 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 very bad alky. Um, and she would do things, like, do, do, do things. So, um, yeah, it's just, it's scary because 
I don't know if I'm going to walk in on her because I have her key. But she told me to bring her key back. So I'm going to take her key over there and just leave it. And I'm not going to be responsible for a key. I was going to get a key made, but I just thought about it. And I was just like, you know what? I'm not going to even worry about it. But she's getting to the point where she can't even do. Like, she, last week, it's so weird because, like, it's so weird. Cancer is a bitch. I am so sorry, guys. But cancer is a bitch. Like, a whole bitch. Like, last week, my Amy was, and I don't know if you guys feel this way. We, we talking here, okay? And we chit-chatting. And if you got a comment and, and you, you've been through this, please comment below. If something you can help me, give me some advice on how to help me take care of my aunt and what I should do. Please comment below because I, I find y'all comments to be just relaxing and, 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 and just y'all bring me so much joy. Like, if you didn't think that, I don't know why. Because at the end of the day, y'all bring me so much joy. Like, y'all are my family. Like, y'all don't even believe that. And I really hope that y'all believe. Y'all my sisters and my brothers. And when I when I do say sisters and brothers, I mean it. Even though I have a blood sister, y'all still are sisters and brothers. Like, we all are sisters and brothers. I don't care what creed, what color. I don't care what you look like. Like, you are my sister. You, you are my brother. Come on in. Come on in the house. Because we, we got so much to talk about. Like, it's crazy. And I just, like... I vented to my best friend, like, she my sis. I vented to her. She told me what to do, but I'm not going to speak on it on camera. Um, and she just told me what to do as far as getting her help. And um, if she rejects me, just, you know, just go ahead and, and, and you know, just, you know, I'll basically get the police involved. Um because she cannot be over there i'm at work my boyfriend like it's not his responsibility she's not he's common law you know we're not married married you know he'll try to do what he can do for you know my aunt but at the end of the day like she is not his responsibility and i'm not putting her on him you know so at the end of the day she's my aunt she's my responsibility um but if she rejects, if she keep rejecting help, she keep rejecting just us going over there trying to help clean and stuff. She keep rejecting, just rejecting, like, it's something has to be done about it. And so, y'all, I'm just, I'm, I'm so full of emotions that tears won't even roll out. Like, when I feel like I'm going to cry, it don't come out. Like, Tears will not, like, roll out. And, like, my purpose, I feel like I'm, I've been on this path, this journey. My purpose with God. My plan that he wants me to find out. He wants me to keep going because he has a plan for me. It's coming. I know and I can feel it. My purpose, he's already showing me. Go back to school. Get your physical therapist license. Get all that stuff together. Yes, my business and stuff like that, I cut that loose. Like, I just said, forget it. My candle business, just forget it. Because, honestly, it made me happy making candles just for my house, for people around me, surrounding me, and stuff like that. And um, stuff like that. But at this point, it's just like, I need something better. You know, I need something that's going to pay, pay. You know, in making candles, yes, it pays. You know, it has its peaks, you know, um, but at the end of the day, like, I'm proud of myself for even having a, a business. Like, I'm proud of myself. I'm worthy. I am smart. I am brave. I am, I am strong. I'm a strong woman, like, and it doesn't matter what color you are. You are strong. You are a strong woman. You're a strong man. You're a strong individual. You're a strong human. You're a strong animal. And you know what I mean? Like, if your pets are watching... Hey, babies. Hey, my little baby. <laughs> um, but anyways, you guys. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's what's going on in my life. And I'm just happy I can talk to you guys about it and just get all this emotion out. Maybe this is what I need. I've been talking to everybody and it just feels like I'm going in circles. I'm going in circles. Maybe I just need to talk to you guys. And... You know, it just, it feels good. It feels right. I feel relaxed. I feel positive energy right now. Like, I just feel it. It just, 
you know. So, anyways, I just try to center myself when I vent to you guys because I got to get myself back on track, get myself back in order. I can't go to my aunt's house with this whole negative positive, like this whole not negative, this whole not, this whole negative vibration, energy. Like, I can't go to her house like that because it'll make her only even more negative towards me. And so, um, yeah, I, I believe in the term of you say what you think, you mean what you say. Um, and I think my mom, she put me onto that one. And I just, as we grew up, I just kind of kept it in my mind. Like, and my aunt, she, she pretty much tells me everything me and she never apologized and I know that because she has stage five cancer and it's spreading you know um that maybe she have she always felt this way about me like I've always been there for my aunt nobody can ever say Andrea has never been there for her aunt like I've always been there for my aunt whatever my aunt need I've always been there for my aunt. My aunt has cash stash. She was like, check my cash stash, you know. Like, she be having big money, big money. And she said, check my cash stash. Check, you know, count my cash up for me. All this stuff, like, you know. And now that she's, you know, down, like, everybody used to come around her. She got that wife. She got that money, you know. She got that money. You her friend. But now she down and nobody's around. But, you know. It's, it's it's just crazy like it just made me feel some type of way and i if you guys like i said if y'all going through this let me know in the comment section below if you know anybody that's going through this or if you you seen patients that you dealt with like this what what are the signs what i don't i don't even know how to explain to you <laughs> because at the end of the day i'm new to all this i'm new to taking care of a stage five cancer patient uh and so, yeah. But anyways, today is my aunt's birthday. And I did stop at Dollar Tree to get her some stuff. Because my aunt can't be around a lot of like, you know, like, um, what do I say? Chemical, chemicals. She can't be around a lot of like just different stuff. Because it'll irritate her, irritate her skin. And she'll get mad. So I just went to Dollar Tree, Dollar 25 Tree. And... I also stopped at the grocery store Fiesta. I need to hurry up because I need to go over there and help her out. Because I think I have to wipe poop. I think I do. And uh, I'm going to show you the stuff that I got her. I just got her this heavyweight kitchen towel by Home Collection, which is good. Which is cute. This is really cute. I'm surprised I didn't pick it up, but I'm trying to stay away from pink. Oh, you guys, I also got my nails done too as well. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I also got my nails done. And I'll put a picture up um, and show you. But he kind of tweaked the the flower and made it like a neutral color, which I love. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I love. It's like a little flower there, but it's so pretty. And it has like a little rhinestone there. But, um, but like I told you guys, I'm more into neutral colors now, like the blacks, the grays, the dark greens, the forest greens, the tans. Um, it just, it just sets my minimal, uh, progress, you know, my minimal journey that I'm taking. So, um, uh, yeah, but I got this for her and her theme is going to be mostly peonies because I love peonies. I do. I really love peonies. Um, I got her this little, uh, reusable peony. I thought it was really cute. And I probably will go back and get some more for myself. This is just something she can keep and think of me. She can think of me when she look at it. It's just something she can keep. So I got that. It's really cute. See, it matches the towel kind of. I actually want that. This looks so cute, like on my little table here. Then I got her some, just some little bags. We could be wrapping this because after this, I'm going to head to the store. I mean, I head to the store. I'm going to head to her house. And then 
gonna take the tags off because I don't know what she's gonna do with it, but as long as she knows she has, um, she got something from me. And you see, all this screaming at me and stuff, like, I still do stuff nice. Like, my heart is not like this. So I got some of this decorated um, shred. And they're just like little shreds. I'm going to put that in the bag. You can use this in filling bases, bowls and baskets, filling party bags and boxes, sprinkling around paperwork on top of your tape, tabletop, and placing around floral display. So I got this because I'm everything's neutral for me. So this is like a neutral, like a burnt neutral orange. It's really cute. Little cute. I don't know what color that is. Like, it doesn't even say, but. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like that color there. So I'm going to sprinkle some of this in. It's not a lot, but just some. Because I don't want to make a mess and then I have to pick it up. Um, so I'm going to put this in there. Just a little bit. This is so fun. I love making this when I was um, younger. Uh, younger younger kid these little slinkies and you take the paper and you fold it up you know fold it over and stuff we used to do that in class all the time and make stuff out of it and then also the people are um fixing signage here too as well so so i'm gonna put this in the middle I just hope she appreciates appreciate this what I got her. I really do. Uh, I know she will, but I should just actually I'm gonna take this off. Fold it. She may, um, she's gonna tell me, you're the only one that got me anything for my birthday. And then, actually, I'm going to take this stuff over there, come back, and show you guys what I have because I want to just get that out the way. I thought I got the cards. Oh, yeah. I so I got her a birthday card. What is it? This is Mother's Day. This is the birthday card here. And I got some other cards too as well for my mom. And then I got her another Mother's Day card because she's just like my mother. But it says, asking God to give you a perfect day of simple pleasures and quiet um, contentment. Um, feeling blessed and very love. Happy birthday. Just that. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill it out while we're all here. I don't have any. I don't have any money. My, actually, my, my aunt turns 72, so I'm, I don't have $72. Um, but I think I got like five. I don't have much. Let's see if I even have five. Yeah, I keep my I keep I keep money on cards. Like I keep mine, like everything go to cards because in my uh cash up too as well. Let's check my binder here, my bills binder, and see. Okay, I got five books. I got five books. Well, she got five books now. But everything helps. Everything I like. Y'all know I work hard. Everything helps. I got. I got a lot of money. But I'm 
finish your show. I hope that she will feature it when I give her. I think every year we give her like money. But what is she gonna do with the money? That's the question. Cause she can't even get up and do anything, really. So what do y'all think? Should I give her money or should I just I'll give her money. I just fear that uh, my uncle, wife, ex-wife, because he's passed, um, will try to steal it. That's the only thing. So I'm, I'm gonna hold off on the money. And I'm just gonna write something sweet in here. Really quick while y'all are here. Something sweet, something simple, like I love you, Auntie. I think that's what I always put in there. With a couple of hearts. Just like that. Just something simple. And then I'll put my name down at the bottom. I'll just put an A and a heart. Uh, my nickname um, hey guys and welcome back um i took my shower much needed the sun is setting you guys we're supposed to be having like storms or something like that in dallas so um i just feel really comfortable i feel good Girl, the girls are out. Okay, the girls are out. <laughs> Who does? Um, and I sit down. Y'all wouldn't even imagine my auntie come calling me, asking me to go to the store for her to get some medicine. I'm like, I can't get you medicine. I'm not gonna get you medicine. I don't know what you can have and what you can't have. So that is the issue, you know. And she won't call her. Healthcare provider. I don't know why Pinocchio's nose is just getting Pinocchio, Pinocchio, okay? She won't call her doctor. She lies to me. She says she's not going to do this and blah, blah, blah. And you guys, I literally put my life on hold. Like, I still go to work, don't get me wrong. I literally put my YouTube on hold uh, because I need to help my aunt. And I put my, I've actually put my kid my 10 year old son on the back burner and my boyfriend on the back burner i'm not i'm not doing it like i love her to i love her to the core i love her to the core but this is just way too much you guys but anyways y'all like my recycle bag i got so many compliments on that bag so let's go into these dollar tree dollar 25 tree haul that i got here it's gonna be really quick i gotta edit this video so I ran into some of this sweet tomato basil uh, pizza squeeze. I don't know if you guys have seen this before, but I've never had it, never tried it. I'm going to just leave everything out because I need to put it up. Also, Dollar Tree has their own, um, what would you say? What do they call? Pringles. Okay, so Dollar Tree has their own uh, Pringles, and these are called Super Stacked. And these are the sour cream, onion, flavored potato chips. And it's in about the same size as the regular cans that they have. So, they got that. Well, I got that. Um, I got some of this mint lip oil by PB Pure. I got some of that to use for my lips. Because, honey, they be dry. If you see that glare in anything I'm pouring into you, that's because I got TV on. I just need to turn it off really quick. Um... Because that glare can be a little bit, you know. I got these party 
heavy duty plastic 48 um culture uh set utensil set you got 16 spoons 16 forks and 16 knives i got those because girl who got time to clean silverware like literally so i'm just trying to make it easier for myself and since i got a whole new side job free um i'm we're gonna be using those i also got some of these recycle cups here or you can reuse it uh paper cups well recycle insulated um cups there's only four in a pack i thought they were really cute they come with lid and sleeves so let's see what they look like they're really cute to me like when i, when I was looking at i was like i gotta get these for when i go to work because i have a whole coffee pot so it's gonna be going like 7 eleven and stuff like that all the time um i could just have that on here so it comes with like three little tops just the regular tops and then these little um little neutral brown sleeves here and then also we have it says good coffee and good vibes i love that it's so cute you guys like that is so pretty so i got that um Actually, that goes with that. Too, okay. Um, I got some of this salt-free seasonings called Supreme Tradition. I got that. I hope you guys can see because the sun is really setting. I also got three fingernail polish. Um, one is more like neutral. I love it. It was really pretty. I got that color i'm not sure what color it is because it doesn't have like a color or oh, wait a minute does it have a color mm, oh it's called sneak peek this one's sneak peek and then this one is caribbean hey caribbean uh, so that's caribbean water blue that's really cute i love that color and then i just got a gel clear nail polish to go on top these are just regular um, hardener colors right here. These two. So, um, Thank you. 